Did you know that you can never succeed in business if you do not learn the art of influence and persuasion? And today I'm going to share with you four tips on influence and persuasion. My name is Eric F. King, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe, click on the bell so you get notified. Every time I come out with a video like this, I come out with videos multiple times a week. So let's get started. Number one tip is you must influence yourself, which means that you have to believe in your product, your service, and most importantly, you have to believe in yourself to be successful in sales. Because sales is a transference of belief. So if you don't believe in what you're doing and you don't believe in yourself, your customers will see that and it will be hard to make sales. Number two, you must put yourself in the position of your customer. Put your customer's needs above yours. You know, so sometimes, you know, especially when you're new in business, you meet with a prospect and you feel like you have to make the sale. You need the money, maybe for the rent or the mortgage or a car payment. And the problem is when you go into a sales call like that, your customer can sense it. You know, they can sense that you need the money, that you're desperate and they won't buy if they can see that you're desperate. So always put the needs of your customers before yours. How can you help them? How can you transform their life? How can you solve their problems, their pains, their challenges? If you're thinking about that, you will make a lot more sales. Number three, you have to be proud of being a salesperson. A lot of people, they just shy away from even saying that at this sell. <laughs> like they don't even want anybody to know. They say, well, you know, I, I work with a lot of entrepreneurs over the years and and I hear this all the time, Eric, you know, I, I'm just a business owner. I'm not a sales guy. I'm not a, I'm not a salesperson. Well, guess what? You are. If you own a business, you are. If a sale is not made, nobody gets paid, including you. <laughs> nobody gets paid, right? So you have to learn how to sell. You have to embrace sales. You see, a lot of times we think that sales is when, you know, a used car salesman sells you a car that's you know, going to break down in a, in a week or two or a car that you don't need. That's not a salesperson. A, a salesperson is someone that solves your problems with their product or their service. Sales is service. If someone does not buy your offer, right, you did not serve them. That's why you have to, you, I guess, wire your mind to, to believe and know when you're in sales, you're actually helping people. Now, number four, this may be the most important one. You have to be a leader. You have to lead people by caring and closing, caring and closing. Let me explain. In fact, let me use an example. So let's say you have a health and wellness product or a, a course or a coaching program to help people lose weight. And you meet with a prospect and let's say she tells you that, you know, she's been overweight for many years and it's really affecting her, her life in a negative way. Um, she says that, you know, she, she doesn't have much energy. Um, she has high blood pressure. It's affecting her, her marriage. It's affecting her kids. She doesn't, she's not able to play with her grandkids, you know, and she tells you all of this and you ask her, how long has this been going on? And she says about three years. Okay. And present your offer to her. And then when you're done, she says something like, well, you know, um, I've seen something like this before. I'm just, I'm going to hold off for now and maybe call you back maybe about six months or so. And, and then we can go from there. Now, this is what most salespeople do. They say, oh, okay, well, I understand. Um, just give me a call when you're ready. Or, you know, can I give you a call in six months and then we'll go from there? That's the worst thing to do. That shows no leadership. Okay. Another thing people do is they're overly aggressive. Like, well, why, you know, why don't you just try it out? You know, if it doesn't work, you can get your money back. Like they sound desperate. That doesn't work either. This is what works. Leadership. Right? This is where you tell your customer, repeat back to them 
all the problems and pains they have. And you say something like this. Okay, well, let me, let me understand uh, what you are telling me. If I'm not mistaken, you said that you've been going through this for a while, about three years, and that, you know, you, you have high blood pressure now and, it, and you, you, your energy is low. And you said it, it's causing you problems with your marriage and you're not able to play with your grandkids, correct? Right? Okay. So you're going through all these problems because, you know, of your weight. And now you're saying that you want to wait another six months. So what's going to change between now and then? How are you going to be able to solve all your, those problems you talked about without getting this program? Now, here's what they're going to do. They're going to start thinking about all the things you said. And they're going to say to themselves, wow, he's right. She's right. Nothing's going to change if I don't change. And now she's going to say, well, you know what? Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe, maybe I should do this. And then you're going to say, absolutely. This is what's going to help you with our weight issue. And then, you know, you'll be surprised how many people would say, okay, let's go ahead and do it. Now, here's the thing. She wins more than you because now she gets on the program and she starts losing weight, right? And now she starts looking better. Right. She's more maybe she's more attractive and she's feeling she's feeling better. She has more energy and she's able to play with the grandkids. Now you've transformed her life with your leadership because you cared, but you closed as well. So that's very important. The leadership part, you care and you close, but you don't give them you, you don't just co-sign with their uh, weakness or co-sign with their excuses and let them off the hook. There's no leadership there. So those are my four tips. If you learned something from this video, definitely like, share, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Make it a great day.